Uh, it's time for another math. Easy. So we're going to discuss uh, basically Cauchy's mean value theorem. It's, uh, I'm doing this one because it's uh, using to prove the Hoppy tells, which, which I showed earlier, and then so I thought I'd do a video on it separately. Here. Now this theorem was uh, basically created by a guy named Augustin Louis Cauchy. Uh, basically, he was fr born in 1789, 18 to 1857. He's a French mathematician. He's pretty famous. But anyways, uh, this. Cauchy's mean value theorem can be considered basically the, a general uh, mean value theorem or uh, basically a general version of the mean value theorem which I showed in my earlier video which basically states if you have a function that's kind of like like this let's call this uh, f of x and it's uh, this function is both differentiable and uh, continuous in this span of A to B, you can see the other video, my other video on mean value theorem to get a better idea of this. And basically all it says is that you'll have a number C such that the derivative here is parallel to this one, to this line here. So basically we'll call this, uh, so you have a number C such that F of C is just equal to rise over run of this line here or just uh, f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And this basically this line here would just be, this one is just f of b minus f of a. And then this is, this interval is just, well, let's put this here, is just b minus a. So this is the, um, the mean value theorem of what we're used to, but this general version basically states, just write it down here, well, basically, uh, the first condition is uh, f f of x and g of x is uh, well on a and b is continuous. Basically, this uh, this is a closed interval from a and b, uh, which means on a and b the value has to exist here, so, and and also and then another uh, condition is that these are both differentiable. Yeah, so basically, on uh, this is on open interval here, so this just means that f of x and g of x. Uh, they have to be differentiable between these, but on, at A and B, it doesn't actually have to be in, in differential, but you need to actually have these values here, so it needs to be continuous. And another condition is basically G of X, it, it can't equal zero on any numbers between A and B. In A and B, there's an open interval again, so it can equal zero at A and B. Then what uh, Cauchy's mean value theorem states is that you'll have a number C such that uh, f prime of c divided by g prime of c is equal to f prime of b minus f prime of a all subtracted by g prime of b minus g prime of a and this is basically the general uh, mean value theorem and the ordinary mean value theorem which I showed before is basically a special case of this it's, it's a, just a special case where g of x is just equal to x. And in this case here, if g of x is equal to x, uh, g prime of x is equal to one. So it's one for all the values. So this then, and also from here we get g of b is equal to b and g of a is equal to, to a. And also in this case, if it's all equal to one, then g of c is equal to one. Then we're just gonna get from this one here the ordinary would just be f prime of c is equal to f prime of b minus f prime of a over b minus a and that's just our ordinary uh, mean value theorem. So now basically to prove uh, the Cauchy's theorem here, uh, it's very similar to the proof I had for the mean value theorem here where you can see my other video on it and where where the the value I had for h in here if you if you uh, you should look back to it uh, basically now it just changed so that now we have let's say let h of x equal to basically f of x minus f of a yeah so f x minus f a uh, this was a plus here plus f of b minus f a divided by this and whatnot this is Jeff you, you should look back to this video before to see how this is basically very similar to the, the h of x that I had d derived for this one. Basically, it just uh, it looks the same thing as it. Uh, you can see, I just was similar to the equation of a line, but now we have a more general version here. So now, uh, if you just simplify it further, h of x equals. Yeah, so I just put the negatives, uh, just take the brackets out. 
So and now using roll steam the exact same way I did in my other video. So and the conditions for roll steam are basically the function has to be differentiable and in this case uh, h of x is continuous and differentiable. And uh, this is and this is so because uh, basically all we're doing is uh, subtracting a function that we know is differentiable because this is what we assumed for at the beginning here of uh, Cauchy's theorem. So we assume if this is given. So this is differentiable and we're subtracting by is just also, this is just uh, a function of uh, differentiable uh, equations here. These are just, uh, this is just a constant number here. And these, are, yeah, so all we're doing is subtracting by functions that are continuous and differentiable. So then the combination will, will be continuous and differentiable. And also now at h of b, or at the, at the far ends of the interval here, we get, uh, we basically get f of b minus f of a minus. Yeah, so we get this one here. We plug in b, and then if you simplify this, these just cancel here, and we're just left with f of b minus f of a minus f b minus f a, and this just cancels out. So we're just left with zero. And similarly, h of a is just equal to. Well, if plug this in there, we just get f of a minus f of a minus a minus uh, minus this this over here times g of a minus g of a. This this becomes just zeros. So this cancels and these just cancels, and we're left with zero. So basically, we have uh, when applying Rolle's theorem, this has to be equal. So h of b equals h of a, and in this case, it equals zero. Then by Rolle's theorem, there should be a number. So a number c such that h of c is equal to zero. So this is by Rolle's theorem. You see my video on Rolle's theorem to get a better idea of this. So basically if we plug this in, but first we gotta get the derivative, h prime of x, this would be just equal to lf prime of x. Just look at it over here. And this, this goes to zero and we're just left with, well, yeah, if you take the derivative of this one, this will just be this times the derivative of the inside here which is just g prime of x. So we're just left with minus f of b minus f of a over g of b minus g of a and then times g prime of x. So now we plug in the number f prime of c would equal to zero, so we're left with f of c is equal to, I mean, uh, subtracted by f b minus f a divided by g of b minus g of a times g of c, and rearrange this one here, uh, we're just gonna get, yeah, if we just rearrange it, we're just gonna get f of c, is if you put this over to this side and divide by uh, g of c, we're gonna get f of c over g of c is equal to f of b minus f of a, over g of b minus g of a. And this is basically our proof of the Cauchy's theorem here. Yeah, so there's our proof of it. And this one, yeah, we just did ex sim very similar to what we did for the ordinary mean value uh, theorem. And you could just look at it so uh, to see how this is just uh, very similar to the function that we had in there. So h of x is just this. And applying Rolle's theorem. So you see my other videos on, on Rolle's theorem and ordinary mean value theorem. Well, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully you learn, and you can also download these notes on the info below um, on the Dropbox link there. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learn, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.